Hey now, PASW staff, clients, and friends joining us, and good morning. Thought I'd just throw a little wrench in there. Welcome to Monday's class. Hope you guys had a good weekend. I'm, uh, I was so impressed with the results for the good, the bad, and the ugly that you guys came up with. You as my fellow film composers, uh, it, it was just so fun to see all of those uh, different kind of moods throughout the, uh, um, you know, watching the same exact clip from creepy to scary to funny to cute, all those things. So I thought that maybe we'd do more of that because I love the interaction um, w between y you guys and sending me links. So you can send or email me the links anytime. Um, and we're going to, we'll, if we keep doing this, we'll, we'll, all, we'll start our Monday classes with this. And then um, the homework, the, you got to send it to me by midnight on Wednesday, okay? So like Thursday morning. And then we'll screen it Friday. And um, uh, give me your name too, so I can, uh, or what name you would like uh, on the credit. And that'll be fun to do. So um, let's, let's try that for a little bit for a few weeks or, and see, because uh, there's so many great iconic scenes that uh, we can have fun with. So, uh, so having said that, um, let's, let's uh, start with a little movie that probably everybody has seen multiple times. We're going to talk a, a, a little bit today about a scene from The Wizard of Oz. I could while away the hours. Wizard of Oz uh, came out in 1939. It's a, an American musical fantasy film and um, directed by Victor Fleming, uh, but he, he got called away and he had to help on the set of another little movie going on called Gone with the Wind. So he actually directed both films. King Vidar came in and helped, I think, finish The Wizard of Oz. But uh, both of those films came out in that same year, which is am amazing. Wizard of Oz lost to Gone with the Wind, but... Um, which is bad news for Wizard of Oz, but Victor Fleming won Best Director, uh, you know, won Best Picture with his other movie at MGM, Gone with the Wind. So it uh, worked out well for him, I think. So uh, that's, um, and you know, it wasn't a, it wasn't a big, uh, even though the Academy Awards and everything, it, it didn't really make that much money. It, it, not until the 1956 when um, they did a broadcast on television did it become everybody's favorite suddenly favorite movie that they've seen over and over and over again so and um and Wizard of Oz was important because it was kind of one of the first when you think about it one of the first movie musicals where the songs were part of the narrative and the songs were uh, essential to understanding the characters and the characters motivation in it so if you think about all the songs throughout it uh perhaps not really, except for one song, maybe the best song of it. Uh, well, that's not true, but the best song in it is obviously Somewhere Over the Rainbow. Now, that's not the um, scene I'm going to ask you to rescore, because I don't think even the best composer in the world could um, rewrite that song. Um, it's just, uh, it's probably perfect, right? Um, and they didn't want that, and it wasn't going to be in the movie originally, Over the Rainbow. Um, it, it was almost on the cutting room floor. Uh, the mogul at MGM, uh, Louis B. Mayer, said it was too sad. Uh, other executives just said that made the movie too long. And then one executive said, I'm going to quit if you take that out. So, um, hence, it's in there and one of the most iconic scenes in the world. One of the best, uh, and we've talked about Over the Rainbow with the genius of Bud Powell, right? And his interpretation of mental illness and playing Over the Rainbow in the solo to it. Um, so if you remember a few months ago, I think actually, not weeks ago. So, um, but the scene we're going to be scoring today is, is, uh, iconic because we all know that Wizard of Oz was, you know, the first to, or one of the first to be shot in color and technicolor, but we, the beginning obviously opens up in this kind of sepia tone, you know, it's not even black and white and before it transitions. So we're going to be scoring the transition part. So for the context of it, you know, we know that there were tornadoes going on. Dorothy seeks shelter in her bedroom and becomes, you know, unconscious or something. And, uh, and when she wakes up or, you know, when she, or rather when the dream starts, um, she go, walks out of her door into um, uh, Munchkin Lane, right? And so let's take a look at that scene and this is the scene um, that you're going to be scoring
So obviously I've taken out the soundtrack. Uh, the soundtrack but is, uh, was written originally by Herbert Stothart and he won best score for this picture. So, and he, did, uh, he didn't write uh, Somewhere Over the Rainbow, but he, he wrote all of the music in the movie, except, um, so uh, underscored it rather, uh, meaning like the background score, you know, not the songs. Um, so I, I took the soundtrack out and I want you guys to come up with something that's, I know that's going to be amazing. Make it whatever you want to be. If, um, there are no, um, right or wrong answers, make it, um, if you want to be outrageous and put a Britney Spears song and you think it works, then you can do that. And if I think it works, then I'll, I'll do that. I, I'm, I'm willing, we're, this is good. Um, problem solving and using our imagination uh, to uh, um, for the, these kind of exercises I mean and of course because I'm your friend and your colleague I will be uh, picking something too and um, I don't know either actually I I guess I just gave myself a deadline Wednesday at midnight too so maybe I can move it but I'm just kidding no it, it's gonna be really fun so that this is the scene that uh, we're gonna be talking about and uh, yeah, that's uh, this was Judy Garland when she was 16, her first role, probably the last time she was ever happy, um, unfortunately. And um, they wanted Shirley Temple, but she was too young. But um, uh, yeah, I mean, who who does it better than Judy Garland, right? So, um, so that's just a little bit of context, historical context about Wizard of Oz. And um, but this is uh, Film Scoring Monday. Maybe that that'll be your class title. You guys like that, Film Scoring Monday? I don't know. I'll 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 sleep on it. Okay, um, I've said it all. So, uh, and I'll upload this on YouTube as well. Um, the the scene, the so you don't have to come back to the class uh, right after this class. I'll do that. Okay, uh, love you and miss you. Can't wait to see what you come up with, and um, see you tomorrow for Tuesday's class. Got a good one too. Okay, bye.